In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I'm going to take you to the Our Made of Flea Market. We've been going there for years, and we always find great stuff at such great prices. This was only one dollar. See what I mean? We'll have breakfast at Papa's, and then I want to take you to the Lamb's Tale. It's packed with a lot of great stuff you're sure to love. So if you're ready for this episode of Flea Market Rescue, then let's go ahead and dive right in. If you're going to the Our Made of Flea Market, you want to get there really early. Because if you get there around 11, 30, 12 o'clock, you won't even know that there was a flea market that ever took place there. Heck, my mom and I, we used to get there when it was dark out. Yep, we were definitely diehards even back then. Not only do they have a lot of great antiques, but they also have plants and vegetables and you can get everything there, even a puppy. Now, the first thing I came across was this croc. I really like this. It's really a nice croc. However, he didn't have any prices on there, and I had just got there, so I just kind of wanted to keep moving, so I didn't ask him how much it was. I then came across these old kitchen utensils. I have to say, kitchen utensils sell really well for me. I don't know what it is, but people want these for their kitchen. Whether they're using them or not, I don't know, but they definitely want them. It's sort of like this one girl I saw on Instagram. She uses all the old kitchen tools. Everything looks so homemade. She's actually from Turkey and it's called Turquoise Kitchen, I believe. I'll leave a link in the description. You gotta check this girl out. I think she might even be on YouTube now, but everything she uses is like from scratch and she uses all these old kitchen tools. Oh, we're gonna have to get these. I'm gonna take these blocks and I'm gonna make them into snowmen. So I'm keeping my eye out for these kind of blocks. And I don't think this even spells anything anyways. Does it? $2 for all of this? I'm gonna buy this. I mean, for $2, how can I not? This is a cute box. You see this mailbox? I picked one up that was black. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to make the perfect mailbox for Santa's letters. You can put like a little bit of, you know, holly or you can put some pine and then stuff some little letters in there from children. It's just going to make the perfect display. All right, I have my eye on these horse head bookends. We're going to have to grab these. Now where my store is, there are a lot of horse people. They love their horses and they'll come in and they'll ask me, do you have anything like that has horses on it? So we are gonna have to get these because they're gonna go crazy for them. I actually painted these white when I got home and I also did some black wax on it and they came out fabulous. They sold the following week. He also had this owl, which is like cast iron. It's perfect for Halloween. And then he had this antique ice crusher for $5. I thought, why not? You know, they're buying kitchen tools. Someone's going to want this. I really didn't want to pay $8 for the owl. So I asked him if he would take five and he said, sure. So we snagged both of those up. Well, unfortunately, I had passed up this beauty here. I don't know why I didn't get it. I mean, I need fall stuff for the store. And this is so cool. Oh well, live and learn, live and learn. Well, someone had a wedding. See, this is what I mean about going to the flea market. You can find like really cool stuff. If I was having a wedding or a shower, I would definitely pick up all these and you can grab them at a steal. They'd be great for an event. I can actually see these painted black and line the sidewalk as you're walking up for Halloween. Oh my gosh, the Viewmaster. Do you guys remember the Viewmaster? You could look at the Flintstones, everything looked 3D in it. Loved the Viewmaster. Oh, look at all these little jello molds. And look at, there's tiny bunt pans. These, however, don't have a rounded edge, and that's really kind of what you want if you're making those pumpkins. 
Yep, the Bunt Pan Pumpkin. Now, if you haven't seen this video, I'll leave a link in the description because it's a really good video and something fun you can make for fall. Oh, look, some more kitchen tools. $2, that's not bad at all. And I'm sure if you really wanted these, you could definitely wheel and deal by buying a few pieces. Although I do have a lot of pumpkins, I'm still keeping my eye out for more. Well, if this doesn't say harvest, I don't know what does. This guy had a whole dollars table, and this is where I found tons of stuff. Just look how cute this mug is, and it's only a dollar. It's perfect for fall, and I even love the speckled orange inside of the cup. How cute is that? Oh, what do we have here? Look how cute this one is. Oh, <laughs> I think this one needs a cleaning. But you know what? You could throw it in the dishwasher on high heat, and it'd be good as new. Wow, these are a dollar too. I might have to get these. There's no way he's selling this for a dollar. Oh, I'll take that too. Oh, look at you trying to hide from me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take this one home too. Well, I think we majorly scored here because we got a lot of stuff and they were all a dollar each. And if that wasn't good enough, he threw in this. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That was so nice. And as I was getting ready to leave his stand, I looked on the opposite side and look what I found. Oh my gosh, my mom would have went nuts. She would have bought up this whole table. Oh, and I just want to give you kind of an update on my mom. She's still not feeling well. However, she's had a lot of tests done and we're waiting for some results. And I just want to thank everybody who has said prayers for her. You guys are all so kind. And I just want to thank you. And my mom wants to thank you as well. We're hoping she makes a speedy recovery because we have a lot of thrifting to do. She said she's tired of being in the house and on the couch. And that's the first thing she's going to do. This woman is a diehard, I'll tell you. This is one of my mom's favorite booths when we go here to Armada. She always buys stuff from her. Here's another cute booth with some primitive pieces. Love those. You could put that in a basket, a pitcher. It would look good in anything. These would be great to put some apothecary labels on for Halloween. I love looking at old papers and documents for the graphics. And I'll tell you, the flea market is the best place to find stuff like this. Wow, just look at that old calendar. Now who saves stuff like this? I don't know, but I'm glad they do. I ended up buying a couple things from him. I think I spent $10, but it was well worth it. Oh, look at this. This is cute. I think we're gonna have to get it for $3. You see the statue of this little girl? Well, I have seen this in other places and they go for decent money. And I was so close to getting it. However, it has like this pink tinge on it. This means I would need to paint it. And the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pass on it. But had there not been anything wrong with this, I definitely would have gotten it. It's funny how you can overlook things like this bathtub. I totally would have gotten this. It is like, you know, just a wire basket bathtub that you could put flowers in. Oh, how did I not see this? This crab was so cool. It was literally speaking to me. But I was like, where am I going to put this? I don't live in Florida, but oh, he was so cool. So I'm like, well, I'll just think about him. And then when I decided, you know what? I think I'm going to get him. He was gone. So someone else had the same idea. 
The next thing I came across was this door knocker. Look at this, you guys. I mean, it is definitely ornate. This would have been cool for hot chocolate packets. He only wanted a dollar and I didn't get it. Why? I don't know. This was a really cute sifter, but guess what? The whole inside was gone. I really like this next woman's booth. I actually bought a few different things from her, including those acorn salt and pepper shakers. I have my eye on both the pitcher and this basket. Love these two things. When I asked her how much this basket was, she said $1. Lady, you have a deal. This pitcher was only $3. I bought that as well. I knew there was a reason why I liked her booth. Look at these dress forms. You guys know how I love dress forms. She wanted $45 for the white one and $40 for the gray one. And let me tell you, that is a great price. She also had this vintage suitcase painted in green, and that was only $5, so I had to get that. You could take some newspaper print and just kind of line the inside with some Mod Podge, and you could display things in there. It was super cute, and I can't wait to use it. Sorry, one more thing. What about your butter dish here? Uh, that one there, I'll do three for you. I'll do three? Yeah. Okay. Did I tell you how much I love her booth? I ended up getting that, too. This guy saw me looking at these spindles and he's like, make me an offer, make me an offer. But I didn't want to spend all my money on spindles. My mom had picked up one of these. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. Oh. That's so beautiful. How much is that? 25. 25? That's yeah. not bad. 24.99. That's beautiful. Yep. So here we are. And this one here is $20, making this a fabulous price. These are cute for a quarter each. I ended up buying this chicken for three and the guy just gave me the other one. He's like, you know what? I'm not gonna separate these two. You can just have this one. I was like, thank you. I absolutely love this bird cage and I have no problem paying $7 for it. These are some cool enamel pans, and they're priced really well. Now you know I like my Ray Dunn pieces, but I thought this one was a little corny, so I passed on it. Oh, more horses. I don't know about these, though. I mean, they're on a base. I'd have to paint them. They're only $5, though. No, I'm just going to pass on that. Like my mom said, you have to look high and low, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, you know what? These are good for, don't you? You take the brush, you tip it upside down, and in the bristles, you can display photos. I cannot believe these are not real. These are wooden apples. Is that crazy, you guys? Now, I like this weather vane, but... It should really have something on top. That's definitely some old cast iron. Love these jugs, but you know what? I already have four at my shop, so I'm not going to get these. Those Crocs, though, those are definitely piquing my interest because look at the stamp on them. The only thing is, though, he told me that these were like $40 a piece, so I'm going to pass on them. I am, however, regretting not getting this because I could have painted it black. I could have put numbers on it. I could have taken the hardware that you see on like library catalogs and put that on each drawer. It would have been really cool. But no, I didn't get it. Sometimes it's not until you get home that you're like, gosh, I should have gotten that. You're probably like, why are you looking at these old belts? Well, guess what? I'm gonna do a Christmas project that's gonna include that. So I'm kinda keeping my eye out for old belts. Yes, I'm gonna have to get this. This is cute. 
And I didn't forget all you Pyrex fans out there. Take a look at this table. Oh wow, my grandma had those green bowls with the flowers on them. Mm-hmm, I actually have one of those. Isn't that corny wear? At first I was like, oh, Christmas trees, but they look a little, I don't know, like hairy. When I came across this window, I knew it was a seller. I'm like, wow, I have to have this. And then when I asked him how much it was and he said $5, I don't think I could have gotten my money out fast enough. But then I noticed at the bottom, one of the mirrors were broken. Now, nobody's going to buy this broken. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be able to sell this. And he's like, well, you know what? I am just going to give this to you because I am tired of toting this around. And I was like, are you for real? And he's like, yep, take it. I've done my good deed for the day. Just don't tell anyone. Ever since we did the project with the spoons and the stamps, I have been on a hunt for silverware. Like, I'm obsessed. These were only $2, wow. and I bought them. That is an old mixer. Actually, I think my mom said my grandma had one of these. Mixer. That's your mother's mixer? Yes. She had that, huh? Yes. Wow. Oh, that's cool. She got both bowls, and she'd make the cake, and then frosting in the smell. I love it. Look at this, you guys. A whole box full of black enamel. $10. I spotted these water spouts and I thought they were $5 a piece, but they were actually $5 for the pair. He had them wired together. I rarely see these and I thought this would be really a cool thing if you took like a door and you had maybe like an enamel basin and you could have the spout coming out of the door like a little waterfall. You could buy one of those fountain kits and you could easily do that. Another good thing about Armada is the plants. Like they have these succulents, they have cactuses, they have all kinds of different things that you could plant in your yard. Now these succulents would be perfect to add to some of the pots that we pick up. And five for 10, that's only two bucks each. So that is definitely doable. Again, they have a lot of great plants here and this is where a lot of people pick up stuff for their gardens or their backyard. And if you forgot to have your morning coffee, they also have a little place where you can pick up food and drinks. Speaking of food and drinks, after the flea market, the thing to do is go to Papa's. There's usually a long line because everybody wants to go to Papa's. Let's go ahead and take a ride there and hopefully we'll find some garage sales along the way. Oh yeah, you usually can spot a garage sale here and there, especially when the flea market is going on. Right away I found this and I was like, this is really cute. And it was only $5, so I bought it. But I really didn't find anything else, so I was off to another garage sale. Oh, Christmas stuff. Oh, and we have more holiday stuff in here. She has a lot of Christmas plates here, and oh, I really like those white dishes. From there, I came across a church rummage sale where I bought this little guy. He's so stinking cute. They also had a lot of holiday stuff, and you could fill a bag for $4. I shoved this little guy in the bag. Do you guys remember him? I just did a trash to treasure with the flower method and he was one of the projects. If you haven't had a chance to watch that episode, I'll leave a link in the description for you. So yeah, I ended up getting that little guy and a few other things that I put into that $4 bag. I finally made my way to Papa's for breakfast. And let me tell you, we have been going to Papa's for years. It's located in the little downtown of Armada. And like I said, after the flea market, people are waiting to get in line here just to eat breakfast. It's all part of the experience. Here's a peek at their menu. I always get the same thing. I get the Western omelet, and instead of hash browns, I get tomato slices. Oh, and wheat toast. But as you can see, they have a variety of different kind of breakfast items. They also have your pancakes, waffles, French toast. So, yep, if you get a chance, stop in at Papa's. And if you order a water, 
Look at this. They serve it in these cute mason jars. Love it. They even have orange marmalade for your toast. I love orange marmalade and a lot of restaurants don't carry it, but Papa's does. After Papa's, you have to stop at the lamb's tail. You just have to. My friend Bonnie had owned this for many years and my mom and I would go here. We'd even sell our stuff to Bonnie. But unfortunately, Bonnie ended up selling it, which was quite a surprise. Today, I had the opportunity to meet the new owner. His name's Mike, and he's really doing a great job there. As a matter of fact, they were voted number one place to go by Channel 4 News. That's pretty darn good. So let's go ahead and take a look around. When you first walk in, the counter is to your left, and it's just so charming. It just reminds me of like an old type country store. They sell wonderful pieces of vintage furniture and much, much more. Make sure to watch your step because we're going to go into the other room. This place is just packed with beautiful home decor. My friend Nancy still works here and helps with the decorating. We go way back and she definitely has a great eye for things. I think the new owner has done a fabulous job with this. As you can see, he definitely keeps up with stocking the store with beautiful merchandise. There's something to look at in every corner. I'll leave a link in the description for the lamb's tail in case you want to look them up. I love all the fall stuff he has. It looks fabulous. Just caught a glimpse of my socks and flip-flops. Don't mind me. I'm lucky to be up this early. I'm such a night owl. I told you there's a lot to see. I love that sheep farm sign. Ooh, I love that blanket, houndstooth. Oh my gosh, did I just see some lemons? I know what my mom would be buying. This really is a beautiful place. I love this. Isn't that beautiful how they have that hanging there? Now, Mike told me a little story behind this chalk. He went deep into the woods and pulled this out. The guy thought he was going to restore it, and he said, no, I want this for my store. And I think it's perfect for the front. It has the character and charm that is so deserving of this place. There are even things to buy outside. Wow, that's an old bike. And do you guys remember those mirrors? That's so beautiful with the sun coming down. It looks like God shining down on the lamb's tail. Here's the side of the barn. There's also stuff there. So on the side here, there's an entrance to go back into the store. Well, actually, you want to use the other entrance, this one here. And then that'll take you right in to where I showed you all that wonderful fall stuff. Gosh, is that beautiful. I might need that. Did I mention he has animals here? Yep, I saw this little cutie pie when I walked up. Hi, how are you? If you have kids, this makes it fun for them too. As a matter of fact, before I walked up, there was a little girl petting this little cutie pie. So if you get a chance, make sure you stop out at our Made of Flea Market, then hit Papa's, and you definitely want to go to the Lamb's Tail. And don't forget... Next week, we're going to Springfield, you guys. I am so excited. I cannot wait to meet each and every one of you. We're going to have such a great time. And as usual, I will be bringing some gifts for you guys. So for those of you who are going, I'll see you next week. Don't forget, we're meeting up at the Big Ice Cream Cone. That's on September 16th, which is Saturday at 2 o'clock p.m. It's going to be fun. Hope to see you there. Now, with that being said, I have to let you know that our store will be closed September 15th through the 20th because we will be in Springfield for the weekend. And if that wasn't bad enough, 
I'm sorry, you guys, but there will be no video next week. I just have so much going on. I hope you understand. But when I get back, I promise I will have a brand new video for you that I hope will make up for it. And just one more last announcement. This one is a good one, though. If you weren't able to make it to Springfield, I hope that you'll come to our spectacular fall event. We are going to have tons of fall decor. We're having two tents. We'll have food and beverages. We'll have raffles and a meet and greet. So we're hoping that you can make it there. Again, that's going to be on September 30th, and it's from 11 to 5. We're also partnering up with Two Hens and a Chick on that day. So they will be open and they'll have tons of decor for you as well. All right, you guys, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.